Hello everyone and welcome back. Murders at Carlisle Manor is here. It is finally here on Standard and we are going to showcase some of the cards today. We're putting in two long goodbyes, two Massacre Girl known killer, even though that was maybe a bit much, but I wanted to add them for testing reasons, two Assassin's Trophies, and a Deadly Cover-Up. Probably one of the better cards today in terms of being just an overall board wipe that's been crucial for us and what we've been missing. Other than that, if you like my content, please, for me, like, comment, subscribe, and let's just go out there and test the new cards in the new meta. I'm primed and ready to record. A death cap glid. And a pack leader. This will be definitely an interesting matchup. I think I just go ahead and fire off a virtue instead though. I wanted to play the bat, but with that, creature revealed it seems like an aggro deck and the bat's not really gonna be able to block it might be able to gain us some life over the long run but right now i'll we'll have to just wait and see bat and removal you thinking my opponent's in the blender and he doesn't like it okay we get to look I mean, Given Dragon's annoying, but I think we have to take the Kami Flare, which is a really sick card to be playing overall. Um, we do have Long Goodbye to answer the Shivan Dragon. I just rather gain life off my bat if I can. Um, we can wait for them to play Helena, and then we can Long Goodbye it, and then we have a thing like Massacre Girl to fight a creature if we want it to. No, we're good. We cycle. Such a risky play. It's such a risky play. So I think instead we just play Glissa. And we let them play land play Helena or like this. Because the first strike death touch is going to be so relevant. Now they could have drew another Kami's Flare which is online. Because these technically get counters the Shivan Dragons do. Oh wow. What a double remove. But they're land in their tap because it's gain life land. Come on. I don't want to lose this way. Losing this way just sucks. Played 26 lands and right now we can't find them. But I'm definitely going to go to combat because they're most likely going to remove my Glissa. I forgot I could just do that too. And now we just save our long goodbye. Um, cycle this. Hopefully hit a land. There we go. Now we're ready to function. But yeah, I forgot. I just talked about this having counters. I thought its base power was 1-1 one, one, and then it got counters. But no, I'm wrong. And that card would be so much better. Just being able to be like one red mana. Here's my flying haste or 1-1. One, one, just like you would with... Uh, I mean, you'd play it over the other creature for sure. So that comes in. Now we can either do one of two things play massacre girl and test it out or we play the bat and you know how i am i want to test new cards out so we're going to do this i'm going to attack with this that hits sure i'll take my draw death trophy is very nice because it can pick up like some of these bigger creatures here but massacre girl known killer will potentially draw the card because it cares about their creatures dying not our creatures at all it has to be able to deal four we have a reader but wither wither is such a cool mechanic the way that this will work the only reason we didn't swing the moss wood by the way is because lane it does have first strike weirdly enough so that is something we have to kind of be worried about wow cut down just happens to eat all this huh Of this combat down to seven it's all good we have lethal on board Tommy is not gonna flip or Kamana is not gonna flip they could play this in which we'll just assassin's trophy it they'll get a land which they can then burn something out of the way but not too opposed to that but also playing a 4-4 flying bat will also be sick I do much about that though. That's gone. Yep. 
Was it combat? Save for three? Play a flying 4 4 lifelinker. Call it a day. Then next turn, we have the double removal if we need it. We could definitely cover up if they somehow clear our board. But I don't think they'll be able to do that along with presenting a board that's threatening enough that we have to cover it up. Do note that if they do play another Witch Stalker Frenzy, that this will die. Or exile, so we won't get it back. Oh. I mean, it was their only chance, I think. Attack. We're gonna stack before they block. We'll pop this. And go get a basic, and then they'll get hit for four in the air for lethal. Because this does have reach. So... We have to end up grinding it out very quickly. I obviously we were struggling to hit lands, but then our opponent's tempo slowed way down because they struggled to hit lands, but we're also drawing like four mana spells over and over again, or spells that were kind of hard to cast because they didn't have creatures attacking, like the uh the big burn spell, for example. But we take a game away. We didn't really get the value. I just knocked my headphones off, as you can tell. We didn't get the value out of Massacre Girl, but I think it proved enough of a threat that they had to remove it. So, you go first. This is definitely a way cooler hand than what uh, we've had in the past so far. So, we'll keep. The only problem is kind of our land choices here. Definitely like a little bit more like a double. Like a dual land is pretty much where I'm going with this. So, nothing really to do here, but to just go ahead and Deep Cavern Bat, take a look at their hand. Brutal Cathar, Ossification. Man. Sometimes these people, you know. I guess I'll just take Ossification because it's like slower and I can gain some life back and they can use Brutal Cathar. But if they use Brutal Cathar, yeah, because Brutal Cathar is like, I can answer Brutal Cathar. I cannot answer the Ossification, you know. So, let's see Lord. Sure. And then now we kind of bait the way that they play this, where they are going to Brutal Cathar take my Glissus so they can actually attack me, I think. And then we kind of plan to then remove their Brutal Cathar and uh, use Virtue on their Copperfoot Vanguard. You guys ready for something cool? And this is one of the reasons I've been so excited about new cards. So I'm going to do this a little bit differently just to kind of prove a point. Um... So I'm going to long goodbye this and you see ward come up. Uh, we're going to decline the ward cost and it still gets it because this cannot be countered. So that's like a cool thing if you're not really sure or didn't know that that's how that was going to work. You get this off the battlefield because they do play a Knight Errant Eos and we don't want them to be able to play it next turn. They'll have to play this and then call it good and then we have like a good attack. We have a board wipe if we find land. I don't imagine that we'll see a block here. They could block the 1-1. One, one. We do rip land. Could have waited on this land drop because I don't, again, think Gliss is getting blocked. They might. Genuinely surprised with that. Let's play Preacher. Let's just keep presenting a big board state. Another really cool thing here is um, if we do find um, Massacre Girl and get to play it and then potentially use this deadly cover up in case they like kind of get our board really kind of checked. We'll actually draw two cards because these bats are one ones. Oh, well, I mean, those are something so far. They tap two creatures where you have a lot of three mana creatures. I feel like maybe tapping the Lord that you probably didn't plan to block with anyway is maybe a thing that we should consider, but it's okay. Maybe they just saw auto tapper because sometimes auto tapper will show you something and then it'll be like, we recalculated the pick better, but with that long pause, it seemed like they had a lot of choices and didn't really matter that much to them. Uh, combat, double attack, all attack, just all in. I say, I feel like we're going to get some amount of a block. We'll draw another card. We love drawing cards. I've said it before in the past. I think seven mana is like the really nice sweet spot in this deck because like, for example, playing this, and then we have both these modes that we could do, or if we still had Virtue in hand, we had the two mana ability being able to be activated. So, are you going, you are going to play Adversary. Are you kicking Adversary? Oh, 
doesn't do it does a lot but like this also kind of counters it by itself we can kind of see how they're feeling you know get in there let's see how they're feeling discard a card uh most likely it's going to be the vanguard i would have to imagine because they're if they draw a land they could double kick there one block two block significantly lower board state for us uh this has first strike so you're about to see something really devastating yep uh yeah we'll pay the one we'll take a valor token off and then we'll assign one to each of those and we'll keep our bat so might see them concede off that and we do that's the thing so far i've had glissa be the most useful creature which is never the case by the way and just in terms of removing counters from permanence today that's wild but very sweet we definitely had to remove a spell the board wipe if you would to basically cover everything up there so good fun good fun oh uh, we go first very sweet oh somebody down here committed a crime uh grixis i would have to imagine it's just four on grixis but let's take a little peek see uh you may collect evidence 10 rather than pay the mana cost of the spells that you cast Ugh. uh i mean we take the only removal they have like the biggest hand i've ever seen flying you may collect that with sin rather than pay the mana cost of four spells that you cast okay so that doesn't all right that's what i need to know do i liliana start plussing probably not i think i need to get glissa down first and then start using glissa's draws with liliana instead but also do we not just bat them here and for sure take their uh big score which is the, kind of the biggest problem here I'll draw a card. Sweet. Hey. Oh, yeah. First strike. I was like, hello? But, yeah, we're going to play this. We're going to take the big score. And hope. Yep. Make their hand about as expensive as it can be. If we can. Combat. Feels like they ripped a big score. Could be wrong. Draw a card. Another preacher, which is cool. I only have all the preachers. Mirix, Liliana. Plus, I have a feeling I can let a preacher go. Although, like, I'm not a fan of giving them free discards, but as long as it's not a big score one, whatever. Turn target creature card from a graveyard to the battlefield. Suspect it. Oh, does. Huh. Um. Plus here? Drop it. All these. Sure. What's up? I'm back. You have something? Removal spell, maybe. Sure. Uh, they're in rip a land mode. Rip a land. They're actually short. Five, six, seven, eight. M's in my bank account. Uh, yeah. They just cap a very mana heavy hand. And we took the one removal spell and we went from there. And then we also got to take the big score, of course, which would have helped connect them to that hand, but a risky hand for sure. And we get to take advantage of that. Holy, I couldn't figure out how to change something. It's just like, what? It still didn't move. All right, cool. We're good now. I am in a happier place than I once was. We'll lead off of the glade. We don't have a one mana spell to represent right now, so I'm not too worried about it. Humans. Dangerous. This. Play this. We'll snag Thalia. But 
know about that not this that's interesting i guess you want to play i don't know whatever uh yeah we'll take that i see this alia is a little bit more annoying as i've played this matchup in the past obviously no block for us i think it's either play lord or they're going to flash in their reinforcements but there's a warden there's inspector oh inspector is so good with warden huh but I'm going to play a Preacher and then to a Shieldred. Good cry. What a boot. What a clue. Look at him. He looks like he's looking at a boot in that picture. Bottom. Well, okay. <laughs> I wanted to play Preacher, but also just like... Popping this seems just good and then popping this when they play it next turn just seems good and Right now this won't trigger I don't think Greater power. Yeah, they're both one ones This is a clue not a map by the way. I don't know why my brain was thinking this is a map Yeah, get them in there Get this off the battlefield call it a good day a lower nice little one one thinks play here we'll play here and we'll attack keep getting that life this one's not ever really blocking by any stretch now the clue was a little bit tougher they rip brutal cathar no they can flood the board that's for sure but there's no way they're attacking um a little surprised to see them concede right away considering they're gonna put six creatures in play and then you're just like knight and of eos plus like two good cards off the top to get there oh uh, we'll give first oh cool and we have the surveil right, right away i forgot to even put that in the list we may or may not play more of these eventually maybe like i think we're probably on like two max i don't think we want to be much higher than that we surveil deep cavern bat actually a pretty good draw so i just want to try to hit lance uh, bat's always good, especially on turn two. We get to get max information. Bat up. A schooner in there. Fading hope, network. When it enters battlefield, up to one target artifact, trouble becomes a 4-4. Four, four. Flying, when it enters battlefield, tap permanent. I mean, I guess just take fading hope for now. Trading hopes by far the most annoying card. We can always just get rid of this with like an assassin trophy who really cares if they level up. Um, this onto the one one siren. They should attack me regardless. I'm not going to trade the bat. The bat does way better. On top. Wow. Not ready for the leave on top. I'll I'll be quite honest there. But what do we want to play? I mean, I guess they leave it on top to activate this. No legendaries in play. I think Glissa in this matchup might be best as it can blow up enchantments. And these are artifacts, but who knows if they play enchantments or not. Oh, I, I guess that is an artifact, huh? Uh, combat. Double attack here. I literally looked at this and saw say artifact and I was like, I'm good. Uh, of course we draw a card, hit a land. Very nice, we gain that one back. We play this and then we do, I would love to play this massacre girl to start drawing cards, but I have to take this four, four away, I think. Yeah, I think it's too much. We just take the two off the board and we take that four, four away. We could, in theory, Assassin's Trophy something, but I'm not going to Assassin's Trophy a 2-2, a 1-1, or a 1-1. It's not worth it. Especially if next turn I can take a lot of damage, and I can just use this Nissa's ability to destroy target at artifact or enchantment and just start popping these. Uh, if this was a time to get rid of a creature... Oh. You leave on top. You do. So now we get rid of it because now if they want to land they have to shuffle away the fading hope which they do we get an untap land but odawara is still turned off very important no land hit we get 
attack here after we play a massacre girl do we care i don't think so what are they gonna do bounce us out of the game at this point attack here because we might draw a card and get to play our big nissa here or draw land and get to play our big nissa here we missed slightly but what if if i play if i play liliana and just plus this is my home and i don't i'm i think keeping the preacher is better right now but i'm actually just gonna get rid of massacre girl instead it is gender brute it's fine and this also gains us four life which is sick so when we do play this it actually feels a lot better i'm gonna give them their fading hope back still gonna use this as a game lifer right here I'll be back with friends. um this one blow this up Then we'll hold. I guess Glissa probably could have attacked and I could just remove counters if I wanted to. The only thing I'm afraid of is the blue spell. Double attack there. I will I will block. I don't really care about fading hope that much. If my Nissa has to die to get this gender brood off the table, it will. Because then I can always replay Glissa and then play a Mosswood as well. Try away. Bottom it is. Very sweet. Uh, Massacre Girl. I have a counter spell. Okay. We'll just take the reset then. Where I would believe that we're favored in a reset. Boom. Draw another counter spell. One. Present a board state. Call today. That's a moon circuit hacker. Guess what's an enchantment creature that Lissa can blow up? A double attack? Well, they know that. Well, they think of that. That's not something you think about ever. Draw enchantment. This has been so good today. It's not even real. It's not real how good this has been today, to be honest with you. I've I've removed so many counters. I've blown up so many enchantments. It's just been it's just been anarchy. Glissa has been unhinged today, which is not a thing I've said about Glissa in a very long time. Go first. We play a lot of lands, so we kind of just hope to draw one. I think. Dan has such upside. We want to keep a hold of it. We do play swamp first just in case we do draw an, another source and we want to get this bat down without having to commit too much could have virtue this but i'd much rather bat and take something a little bit more important potentially <sighs> but more important i think it's got to be this uh well if they play that next turn we can virtue it if that's the only thing they take play I take the warden, I guess. Oh, they only had a one lander too, so that was kind of the other reason to take the warden. If they leave on top, it's a land. Like I think that's pretty, that's a pretty obvious line. So we're gonna play a preacher. We're definitely gonna attack. We're not using that as a blocker by any stretch of the imagination. And as we just get closer and closer um, to this, the happier we'll be because then we can just kind of pop their board and then take this and exile them out of their library if we have the evidence to do so which it does blow up our creatures and we currently have four uh yeah so i mean it's hit block so i just take it I don't know if they will. I 
Just play the massacre girl. Now attack and draw a card. If they want to trade, be my guest. And now we can kind of block out however we need to, and then we can blow up the board. How does this exile if it works? Because we'll have enough to us uh, an additional cast, I guess. Wow, they rip a red land. Perfect draw from them. I feel like that was better than attacking with the 6-6. Six, six. Yes. I have a negative 1-1 one, one counter. Now you're back on the ground. In, aren't my cards cool? All right, well, let's do the thing and force them to attack this, I guess. Put that up. Attack with this. Exactly 17, so we make a 1-1. One, one. We make another creature. And we're trying to kill him here. And again, I'm not that opposed to also like deadly covering up. I need to see then search their owners graveyard hand library and everything. Okay, sweet. We gave him a warden back, I thought, but they already played it. Never mind. Go for it. Go for it. I will block with my massacre girl if you give me the option. Should attack me, should attack face. It does. Okay. Actually, we don't attack with massacre girl. Stupid. I don't want to do that. The very big reason we don't do that. Um. 16, 15. Attack here, I guess, because it'll draw us a card. That's the trophy, it's a great draw. Hit. Sweet. Nice and cover up. Do this. Then we're going to go look in their graveyard, look at their hand. We're going to grab their regal bunny corn. All right, bonus library. This is the only card that like, gets way out of hand. Done. All right, cool. Yeah, I don't know how this works. I guess I messed this up. When it, creatures you travel with, when another creature and opponent trolls dies, if its toughness was less than one. Oh, it has to be less than one? I know that's what that says, but I'm just stupid, very obviously. Um, let's play the Liana. Let's plus on the Liana. We could blow this up and make a land, I guess, but I don't think it's worth it. You? You? Now a bat. Let's take the last card. That's my card. No. That's a crazy card to have. Just like blow up. Just blow up everything. I see surprised not to see him wield the blood token first. But did you rip it? You did. That's pretty cool. To get everything. It's just us. Okay. That actually doesn't make me feel near as bad. Plus. Trying to deceive. Uh, four, five, six. I was like, wait, did I have a chance to play this? Because it's uh, sucks. Why do they keep playing their stuff? Like, use a blood token. Wheel. Uh, I messed up Massacre Girl. I thought it had to be one or less. Way worse card, team. It's way worse. I go first? Oh, I'm so blessed. Nice. Played. If, there, if my opponent's not Boros, fighting him. It's over. Boom. Like, you can't you can't be the Elephante and not be Boros with lightning. He looks like Somebody send this person a love letter for me, please. I love the representation. They're just like Never mind, I hate this person. <laughs> Oh, weirdly enough, we have to take this. 
Uh, if you're curious why, these two cards are completely dead unless they put an artifact into play. And that's what we like to see. They had to play a tap lane on turn one, so that's pretty sweet as well. Um, but if you don't know why, these have to destroy target artifact, and then they make three one ones. They play a call. That works out well for us. Guess what's an enchantment? That Glissa finds itself having more value today than all other days I've ever played Glissa the Gathering. It is insane how much value this card alone today has found. Oh, I mean, look what you got, opponent. I have a question. Do you think if my Glissa hits and it blows up their War Leader's Call, they concede? I'm genuinely curious. It's like the enchantment part of Glissa blowing stuff up has been so forgotten about most times. Okay. Maybe they know. And now they're going to deal a couple damage. Sure. Well, they take the opportunity to double block Preacher. It's so sick. So first combat happens. It's so good, dude. It's been so good today. Like it's unreasonably good today. Holy cow. Is it good today? I don't Did Glissa just release? Like, did this card just come out? I don't why is this card of all cards the card that is the MVP today? I'm like, I want to show off new cards, and Gliss is like, what if we go back a couple of sets? I'm really cool still. This is like you've been showing out all day. It's insane. Wow, going first once again. Sweet. Our lands are a little bit questionable for sure, but depending on what they play. We'll rely on whether we play this cottage or beside you first yeah i'm like not popping that ever i don't think well mm -mm. play the play the cottage and then i'll just play a preacher the only problem really is uh them blowing this up blowing one of them up yep oh dude so annoying I've like played this matchup four times today already. Whatever streamer did this, it's on site next time I see you. Lock, I guess. Sure. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Take one more turn and try. Preacher number three is going to have to go. That's been another thing with preachers. I swear I've drawn, like, on preachers, I've drawn them either as a three stack, like, kind of in a row. Or I didn't see them in the match, which has been weird. Like, that was just three of them right away. Okay. I know what board wipe I need to draw. Will I draw it? No, why would I? I mean, attacking with this to serve the same purpose, but it makes a lifelinker instead. Attack. There. Uh, just to gain some life, I guess. Now we have Besaju held up, and then, you know, other removal spells as well. They hit a third land. Sure. Now they're gonna attack all out, thinking it's really, really good. I'd rather hold Assassin's Trophy for something. Well, let's get a block in. Let's just say do this. So now these are all one ones, and then I'll get to trade one off, and instead of taking eight damage, I'll only take four. So one's gone. And now we have an assassin trophy for another one if that's the case and a glissa is a fantastic draw to have with it glissa's first strike is going to be pretty devastating plus we have two more removal spells we're actually grinding this game out very quickly but they also haven't played anything like too too devastating i mean 
that would consider in the devastating category by the way well is it an attack now or wait it's a wait okay we know the play it didn't attack prior to this so let's just do this then because if glissa hits i'm drawing a card as risky as that might be but Probably shielded regardless. All right, we have a lot of life to gain, and they have a lot of lights to lose. You play a packle. If you do, we get double blocks and triple blocks even. And we call it from there. But then we also get a bat, get to look, and we still have like really good strong creatures attacking. Let me tell you what. If this Boros deck is going to be popular based on how we've kind of competed against it today and watch this right this statement right here I end up losing this game um, If that's the case It seems pretty solid to just go ahead and just screw this up Let's not trade off one of our blockers that are life gainers and lightning helix doesn't kill this so we're fine with that Now we have assassin's trophy, which is very sweet Fat look. What do you got in there? I'm fishing around your hand. Uh, yeah, Imidane's Recruiter. I'm good on that, actually. Uh, combat. Attack, attack, and attack. I get Shelly. It has to block Glissa, because Glissa can remove the counters off this. But here's, here's another big problem for him. Uh, they're losing life really fast. And if they play roaming throne and attack, those things are tapped and attacking. That's fine. There's another attack here. That out. They only have a roaming throne in play. These are all smaller, so we just don't care. And it's going to make two one ones throw a block. Doesn't really matter too much. And then we'll just. For our opponent's sake, we're, I'm just spamming the space bar to get to combat and hit, so. They got a game away. Go first. I mean, two drop. Two mana removal is needed. Glissa. Kind of cool. Don't know how. That's a one of this has been in my opener so often. But. It's been in my opener quite a lot, to be honest. Red, aggro, mono red. Oh, huh. Menace is he. Shouldn't know when I had a two land opener that it was mono red. What was I thinking? Sure. Can you say clove fire maybe? Nothing? Oh, we even hit the land. So sick. Here's my two four. Uh, the attacker did not attack. No attack because right now it is uh the big removal spell for our preacher here they attack or here he's warcrafting they've stopped playing this pretty much since the other spell was out and block I mean, that's the fastest block you'll ever see from me uh Weirdly enough, I think I have to let it go and just play a Glissa. Although they have lightning strikes. I think I play Glissa. Glissa seems a lot more like a fortitude play. I know I lose a little bit of card draw, but this gets lightning strike out of the way or warcrafting out of the way it does. Like the fact that they're playing this is making me mad. <laughs> it's just like comparatively bad in comparison to the other card i understand the value you can get off of it but hopefully we rip a land and then we can just play a shieldred because our mono red players rip more lands than us and that's not fair <laughs> not fair but here's the shieldren wow they really hit more lands than me kind of why we've had a chance this game This isn't just a buff here. Okay. Sure. 
Well, we have the assassin's trophy that <laughs> not super pumped about that. Hopefully we can find another removal spell with this cycle. We don't. Now the fear really is uh flooding for the most part. One card in hand. I think I just pass. Because we might get them to play like two permanents and then like really pump Godric. That sucks. Oh my god. The hand was just loaded. Put it on Godric, please. Put it on my creature. I'll take it. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Pop this? Because it's just the most damage by far. They can go get a land if they want. We'll play land. We'll play Mosswood. We'll gain a little bit of life here. But if they only attack with the Phoenix Chick. How many cards are in there? Five so they can bring this back. Get some of these other creatures off the board. Like, squeeze a problem, but I don't think it's necessarily adds a problem, considering they can play it again next turn. That's a risk we take. They're so unlikely to draw lands, no? And our green sources aren't very pleasing. In regards to how they would treat us here. Uh, such a hard choice. Let's just play this. Then hold. And then if they make the board worse, then I'll deadly cover up. Maybe I should have. And then just exiled the squee. Oh, they rip a land? Uh... Oh, they just didn't play it at the end step? Wow. Wild. Uh. That. I have to, like, try to close the game. That's the hardest part. So I'm gonna attack. I'd much rather attack with shielded here. All right, let's see it. His shielded plus Mosswood next turn is lethal. Felden definitely not blocking Felden. Your squee back. All right, sweet. Uh, block, block. So close to lethal. We're flirting with the line. Okay. I love lands. And it could have been like any other land too. Uh... We're like not dead to any one card, I guess, but we're pretty close. How lucky can we get for them to draw a land here? Thoughts? I mean. Lightning strike, play with fire. Just like straight up. Here's Nate What do you have? You have something. Oh no. Hold the line. Uh ah, <laughs> yes. Oh man, that was Oh, that was so stressful. I think I missed lethal on my block. I just did not want to block Felden. If I 
I think there was a block that instead of blocking a 2-2, I just blocked a 1-1 one, one and left my creature alive. I'll find it when I watch it back, but I think if I left a creature alive... <sighs> Do I die? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't really remember right now, but let's get to the outro. All right, new set, new Golgari. Here we are. Um, I liked the list so far. Um, I think, honestly, one of the bigger upgrades that we got over everything else is actually this card i've talked about it in the past when playing golgari is like we generally can't wipe the board ever we really are just kind of spot up removal spot up removal do the thing hope our creatures trade off do the certain thing like and then grind out the game that way that's why i always like liliana and these lists and things but deadly cover-up has kind of fit that role that we need like path apparel was fine but like to get like a lot of the bigger creatures you had to pay six but you also had to have a planes but here this it doesn't require planes and it surgically extracts a creature you can certain matchups like that are playing shieldreds your opponent and maybe you can't answer that very well because we do kind of limit our interaction by going down on these like playing these long goodbyes because they can only hit three mana value cards anyway which i guess i can move over all my new cards that i've been using and if you care i played one of these lands i guess like you might care i don't know but this card was nice i definitely could see this card going to a two of especially like ask her girl we'll get to it in a second but deadly cover up i definitely could see going to like this number i didn't have a rare to craft it so i always wanted to check it out before i craft and let you guys know what i think of it if you care about my opinion on the card before maybe we dedicate our crafting else too but other than that this card was sick especially against like maybe some of the big dinosaur decks and stuff and i think the other thing is then search opponent's graveyard hand or library for any card destroy all creatures yeah so the main thing on here that i like is this doesn't specify that has to be a creature if evidence was collected exile a card from an opponent's graveyard you can definitely hit things that are a little bit more important. So like even in the say blue white control matchup where this card's not very good, you can cast it, collect the evidence and target to Jace in their graveyard that they use to maybe mill you for 15 and just exile them all. And then be like, okay, you have to play me straight up now. I'm 15 cards less than you, but you have to play me straight up now. So that's kind of a cool thing that you can do with this in the reanimator deck sometimes if you're just like, well, I guess I put cards in my bin. Let me just exile... I don't know your reanimate spell and just do things like that with it as well so it's very cool uh so let's move on to the other new cards long goodbye chef's kiss it is well balanced it has cards that can't hit for example we can't hit shieldreds with it we can't hit like this bat we can't hit other four drops that are really good but this being able to not care about ward whatsoever is so sick and I love that so much about this card because Graveyard Trespassers would be annoying if you had to target it and then you didn't play Long Goodbye. So then you have to discard a card and say we can do this. It's like one of the reasons I said Voidrend was so good at three mana. But this is Voidrend's hard because it's blue, black, and white. You have to play three colors for it. I think if that was like if Voidrend was black and two, that card would be insane. Obviously, you'd have to like nerf it a little bit it can't target everything but lands if it's only a black and two it's kind of the balancing of making it three colors it's hard to cast but this is instant speed this short target creature planeswalker mana value three or less we played this card a lot i'm probably going to go up to three on this and i will talk about that in a second because the card that didn't do incredibly well or i felt really weird about because i didn't want to give him value and i think this might be a best of one problem or the matchups I played today problem where every time this was in play, I played against a big angel deck. We kind of just flooded and it was what it was, but I didn't want to give them the land. They needed a mana. They missed the land for two turns. And I was like, do I take a hit from a four or five for two turns instead of removing it? Or do I have to kill? It? Like, do I have to answer it? Now don't get me wrong. This has been good at answering like emperors and things like that and other things as well like against the boros stack that we saw a ton today this was great at getting rid of their anthem but outside of that like this card we got to watch this card it might be a one of 
just as like that one of answer everything it does have some downside but you do have to be careful the only thing i will say that this card gets a lot of value and i didn't necessarily get that value today is destroy target permanent in opponent controls your opponent plays a Mirix and you can't answer it well what if you just pop it then the downside's not there they just get to replace it's just like field of ruin they get to replace it and you don't have to play field of ruins you can play assassin's trophies instead so it's good like don't get me wrong if i blow up a natali and they get a land am i happy probably i'll trade natali for a land but the thing is this card's kind of on a watch list i do think it's incredibly good i don't know if i necessarily played the right matchups today to showcase that so keep your eye out on this be careful crafting more than two right now i would say but let's move on a card i misread you know as magic players we can't read so a card i misread on how it worked i thought this said if its toughness was one or less as you can maybe read if you can't read like me um its toughness has to be less than one so they have to go in the negative this works well with like a meat hook massacre for example so this would then trigger or like if we block massacre girl and it's a two three well it's going to be a negative one at the end because that's how the damage will go onto it and then we would draw a card so you saw i lined up a board wipe with the new card and i didn't draw any cards when i thought i was going to big oopsie just watch out for that or play around it if your opponent plays it i would definitely trim this to one i don't know if golgari is its home i think this is more of a rakdos card where um you can kind of use things like blood tithe harvester and stuff to give things minus x minus x and they will pop and then use things like brotherhood in and then maybe a virtue or something there's there's a lot of things like this card does pair incredibly well with virtue it's just like when are you going to get to this four mana to play massacre girl and then have virtue still that you didn't use prior who really knows but there it is Outside like that i played one of these i didn't want to play too many because obviously you don't want to play too many tap lands but I, I actually enjoyed it. I think it's cool. I think it's better than Scry Lance. I think Surveil has been proven to be better than Scry. That's why Consider is played over Op. Because if you're like, I'm flooding. I don't want any more lands in my deck. I don't want to put it on the bottom. I just want to get it out of my deck. And deck then if I can. So that's very neat in of itself. But other than that, I mean, I think we can all... We got to give it... A, we got we to gotta give Glissa her flowers, bro. Glissa today was by far the mvp this card for a while including this channel has been trash talked disrespected disregarded thrown to the wayside like trash but glissa showed off why she's so dominant and why she is worth considering being stuck in the deck um i removed counters to turn lords off so their lords didn't like buff tokens to trade I moved, used it to blow up the anthems for Boros. Like everything about this card today was just fantastic. Other than that, I mean, I might have been a little hasty on trims. Don't go for the throat. Might be a bit much. Might need to slot back in a second one. But I definitely think I'm adding a third long goodbye before a second go for the throat right now because we are playing Assassin's Trophy. However, realistically, my trim would be here to here, here to here, maybe. And just kind of running it like that so if that's what you're into that's kind of my final opinions on the deck so far and i enjoyed it a lot i had a lot of fun today as you saw i did pretty well overall the deck was strong and that's great for us we us golgari plays gotta stick together you know but outside of that i hope you all enjoyed the video today i'm going to call it now and i'm going to continue to brew up other decks and try to see if standards actually been revitalized and unique and fun again or if we're going to very quickly fall back into that stable unwavering boring mono red blue white control poison meta thanks for watching goodbye <laughs>